missed too much time to answer back. She'll lock in a nice airdrop for the world champ. Carissa off the oh. bottom and hammers the first section. Big wind up, <laughs> down carve to set up maneuver number three. Big wrapping cutback. Now the champ digs in, pulls into the pit, looks to come out of the inside corner and comes close to locking in the best wave of the contest on her start. That was a 10 if she came out of that barrel. That's for sure. So now the opening exchange out of the way. Fitzgibbons really made it. That first wave very important for her, held the inside position. Wow. Carissa had to wait, but she had an absolute gem to lock into to answer back. I mean, that first turn from Carissa was next level, Joe. You know, we always talk about how Carissa never really shows us her A game. You know, and I think a lot of the time she doesn't need to. Uh, but here at the final, she's, uh, she knows she's got Sally, and Sally's been surfing amazing. So Carissa opened up that first turn. That was something we haven't seen from her yet in this entire event. So there goes the thing of you save your best for last. You need to peak at the right time, and that's right now in the final. Oh, what a great showdown. We looked at the stats and the records. These two almost dead even. Let's go to Carissa's win. Oh, look at this turn right here. Just gouged into that right there. That was the best turn of the, of the event, and then backed it up with that again. Three solid turns, all varying in degree of difficulty, and then pulls into the barrel and almost comes out of it. So Carissa Moore...